Hi everyone, I'm Chef Patty and welcome to our Admin Health cooking demo. So today I'm going to be making honey roasted carrots. The biggest tip that I can share with you is that when it comes to cooking veggies, if you can, go for the oven roasted method. It's always my go-to. Why? Because the basic process of oven roasting brings out the natural sugars and caramelization in the vegetable and also the dry heat pulls out the moisture so you don't end up with a mushy vegetable and now you have better texture, better flavor, and better appearance. So it's a win-win, right? So much better than boiling or steaming. So remember, if you can, go for oven roasted. This recipe, super simple, and actually when you oven roast a veggie, you can just drizzle some olive oil, salt and pepper, and you're good to go. I'm elevating it a little bit by making a glaze. So if you're looking for something a little extra for the holidays or just to serve at a dinner party, you can make a quick glaze and it's just delicious. So what do we need for the glaze? Really, really simple. We're gonna mix a little honey. So honey, cinnamon, now we're talking about antioxidants, right? So. It's just good, healthier for you. A little honey, a little cinnamon. Now we're gonna add some ground ginger. And the ginger, good for digestion. Not hard at all. Garlic, I've got about three cloves of garlic. And remember, our recipe will always be in the AvMed Facebook page, so it'll be easy to find. I've got some melted butter, not a lot, so you can maybe add one or two tablespoons of butter, but a little bit of fat is just gonna add extra richness. And then maybe about a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of olive oil, a little salt, I always love to balance, right? When I have something that's on the sweet side, I always like to add a little salt to my recipe. If you cannot have salt, then maybe you can add a little paprika because that'll kind of like balance the, the sweetness. And then some black pepper, that's it. As you can see, not complicated at all. I've got my carrots. Try to cut your carrots if you can all the same size. Why? Because if you don't, then your smaller pieces will be overcooked and your larger pieces will be undercooked. So I have cut them diagonally. You can cut them the shape that you wish. Now I'm going to mix them all up. I've got that yummy glaze with the garlic, the cinnamon. It smells so good. You can't smell them, but look how yummy these look. And they're raw. Imagine once they're cooked. All right, now on a sheet pan, make sure you guys can see what I have going on here. So I'm just gonna transfer these to a sheet pan. I wanna get all this deliciousness in there. I have lined my sheet pan with parchment paper just because it makes it cleaner. It's easier to clean. And now, you always wanna make sure that when you are oven roasting that you separate your veggies because if not, they're gonna steam. So remember, one of the reasons why I love oven roasting is because I want some charness and caramelization around the edges, a little crispiness, and that's not gonna happen if your veggies are all mushed up. These are done. They're going in a 425 degree oven. So always high heat. If your oven is nice and hot, that's definitely gonna help and you wanna make sure you preheat your oven. So now I've got some carrots that I pre-cooked. Do you see these? They look so good, so excited. So the only thing we need to do is, now we're ready to plate. And you can garnish with a little fresh parsley. And if you want some extra crunch, I have some pumpkin seeds. So now by adding the pumpkin seeds, I'm also adding a little extra nutrients to our dish. 
And you see how simple and how easy. And here, let me show you. This is what I mean by the caramelization and the charness, the little black edges. I love that. Oh. This is how I will always cook my carrots, my cauliflower, my broccoli. Charred broccoli is the best. All of them are. Okay, now a little fresh parsley. So pretty. And some chopped pumpkin seeds. And here we have it, friends. Look at this, how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so good. So I hope you make this recipe and let us know if you love it. And I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.